What's up, my single chats? Coming at you with an emergency video because we got another drama, my brothers. Apparently, Nick Merckx was canceled by Activision a few months back because he said leave the kids alone. And Activision, they canceled the guy, they removed his skin, they threw him in another dimension, and they basically just said that go pound sand. All because he said that leave the kids alone. And uh, to give you context, obviously, in a lot of schools in America, especially in the West, they're teaching young kids, hey, it's okay to change your gender. It's it's okay to cut your pee pee when you're eight years old, right? I mean, he simply said, bro, leave the kids alone. I am my, I'm the parent of my kids. Let me teach my kids what's right and what's not, right? A lot of people agreed with him. Activision did not, and they canceled the guy. And right now, fast forward to now, he's getting canceled once again. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I got two clips that I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, like the video if you think it's uh, not okay to change your gender at eight years old. Bruh. Dislike the video if you think it's perfectly fine to change your gender. It's strong and empowering. You can change your gender at six years old, seven years old, and even eight years old. I wanna know where you guys at, but check this out. Watching this. And here was his response after finding out that Tripods, his team, did not receive the invite, and the other team, Oversleepers, they did. Mm. Oh my god. Oversleepers for the PL spot? No. Wait for Oversleepers it, Oversleepers for the PL spot. Oh, they got, they got invited? Did that just come out? Oh, damn. Yeah. Guys, I don't wow. think we're getting invited, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I, like, just put two and two together. Like, I, I, we, I, Apex is... A very, uh, very pro, pro, you know, fucking you know? just yeah. gay, pro, trans, yeah! pro. What? What? Pro, what? Pro, gay, pro, what? I, I know this is like taken out of context. Uh, check this out, man. <laughs> check this out. Check oh, this. Wait, look, I'm me. not anti. Okay. But I'm not in the front of the parade doing the high knees mm. either. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. Like, you're not kissing dudes out there. You're not, like, waving the flags. And uh, you're simply just doing you. And you're playing games. I get it. I get so, it. live and let people live. But, mm -hmm. I mean, we, we clearly have a, a difference in opinion yep, you know, yep, across yep. the board. So, I mean, if you're expecting... I, I, I really dislike this uh, thing that's going on, right? It's like, if you don't agree, that means you're completely against it. Like, whatever happened to just agreeing right whatever happened to i mean obviously not everybody's gonna be out there kissing dudes all the time not everybody's gonna be out there kissing girls all the time it's completely fine if you're a dude it's completely fine to be attracted to a chick Bruh. i know that's a crazy statement in the year 2024 uh, right it's completely fine if you're a dude watching it's completely fine to be attracted to a chick it does not mean that you are against uh, uh, the LGTV. And the fact that he said, leave the kids alone, obviously that started all this uh, bull squash a couple of months ago. There's another clip coming up. Wait for it. I mean, bro, I'd be so surprised if that ever fucking happened. Mm. You come across very anti, but I'm not anti. I made that extremely clear. Extremely. Damn. Yeah, man, this is one of those things that I just uh, wait for it once again. Like I said, uh, if you if you disagree, that means just you're against it. You're against it completely. You're against it. Nah, bro, it just means that you don't want to be out there kissing dudes all the time, right? You just want to be doing you. And in the case, Nick got a wife, I guess, uh, so he want to be kissing. He want to be kissing his wife. At, I, I at least I hope so. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, and he want to just raise his kid or uh, child or gal or you know what I mean, like told you where i draw my line man i just don't i don't like i don't like the i think parents should be teaching their kids about stuff like that yeah uh, I mean, totally, it's up to the schools totally, totally. and totally. teachers that you might not know they, they probably got their own agenda right i mean yo when you're eight years old think about it for a second right like when you're eight years old dog you don't even know like where you at what you're doing you should be learning your a b c d e f g H I J K L M N O P. You know, that's what I was learning Bruh. when I was eight years old. Dog, like when you're eight years old, you should be learning your maths. Because let's be real, in China, bro, like kids are crazy with 500 IQ. They are not being taught none of this crap. And this is why, you know, those kids want to be astronaut, teacher, uh, musician. And they want to do crazy good stuff for their country and in life and for themselves and for their family. This is why the, the, you got crazy amount of billionaires coming from China right now. Because you know what? They put their education. I mean, you know, education, toxicity is also like another thing. But, but like, damn, bro. 
Like, what are we doing here, bro? When I was a, when I was eight years old, bro, I didn't even know like what Earth was. Bruh. I didn't even know we were in Milky Way. I know some of some of some people believe space is fake, bro. It's fake, bro. But you know what I mean, right? Like, come on, man. Let kids be kids, though. Like, simple as that. And when they're 18 plus or whatever, they want to change their gender, that's up to them. That's completely up to them. And if they don't want to change their gender, that's perfectly fine too. What are we talking about here? And guys, uh, check this clip out, okay? I gotta show you this here, right here. It gets crazy right here. Or his stances over the past six months, they would have been... Regardless of his beliefs or his stances over the past six months, they would have been invited. And that's how mm. I feel about this whole thing through people nah. blowing this up on Twitter and taking nah, it. No, 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 Let, Let's be real. Let's be real. Like, he wouldn't be. And, uh, be, be, bro, Activision canceled the guy. They just buka killed the guy. They canceled his skin because he said, leave the kids alone, right? Obviously, he's not being invited out by Activision and other, uh, you, you know, other uh, companies because what he said, they disagree with him. And I also gotta say this, right? It's compul- uh, because- EA and Apex Legends, it's their game. It's completely fine for them to not invite Nick because it's their game. It's their right. You know what I mean, right? I'm not going to just be like, yeah, you should invite him. You should invite him. But objectively speaking, he's let's objectively speaking, he's not being invited out because of what he said, what he stands on. They disagree and they don't invite him. Simple as that, because when you think about it, Nick got the money, he got the influence, he got the popularity, he got the viewers, he, his numbers are looking strong, he plays the game on top, right? He plays Apex Legends, he's a gameplay streamer on top, which is another factor when these companies decide whether to invite the guy or not. S simply put, they disagree and therefore they're not inviting him out. Let's be real, bro. Every which way, which, whatever, that's the internet, right? But at the end of the day, to imply that you wouldn't be invited based off your stances, I choose to believe that's Wait not true it. if you were in the same position that the team who got invited was. And I, I, I think that's a fair take. If I'm crazy, say it, leave a comment down below. But this whole thing also was just, it was blown up. Like everyone was tweeting about this. Now that also doesn't help when people like Drama Alert pick this yeah! up. What? What? Nick Marks blaming LGTVQ and Apex for not getting the invite to Pro League. Damn, yeah saying Nick Merckx is blaming the LGBTQ and Apex for not getting the invite to Pro League. I, I, I would say that was, like, again, there's a vein of truth to that, but that's not exactly what was going down. Like, he was reacting to the oh, oversleepers shit. getting that spot, and he's saying, hey, uh -huh. my beliefs uh -huh. aren't fully intact with the strong, hardcore uh, standing beliefs of a lot of the Apex community, which... What he's you, you, bro, just simplify it, right? Basically, Nick is saying, and what you're saying right now is that Nick basically don't want his kids changing their genders when they're eight years old. You know, that's basically what Nick said. Just keep it simple, bruh. Why are you afraid right now, bro? Just keep it simple. He doesn't want it. Some parents want it. Some parents don't want it. Easy right now. Easy. But guys, recently a massive cheater got caught with his pants down. Click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. This video goes crazy, man. A cheater just... I, I swear to God, man, this game is infested by cheaters, bro.